Namaste and welcome to our yoga flow for today. We will be focusing on our spine, working on our posture, getting strength in the back and just giving our spine a little bit of love. So when you're ready, come to the back of your mat in a kneeling position, hands in your lap. Take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth just to center yourself, maybe even close your eyes. I'm gonna stay here for a few seconds just to find a small moment before we begin the practice to set an intention. We're gonna work hard for our spine, create strength, but we're also gonna give it some love. The lower back and the spine are commonly achy in our modern world where we're always sitting. So this will be a great flow for those who work in offices or work at home. When you're ready, we're gonna lift up into a high kneeling position as we inhale, tuck the pelvis under. On your next exhale, we're gonna reach back for the right ankle, lifting the left arm over your head, stretching out the chest towards the sky, gaze towards the sky if you can. This is a great pose just to begin to warm up the spine, stretching out the lower back and also the chest as well. Just hold for a deep inhale and one more goodbye exhale. When you're ready, we're gonna circle round back to center and let's repeat that on the other side. This time reaching the right arm over the head, left hand to the left heel. Gaze is up towards the sky if you can, stretching out the chest, particularly that right side of the chest and the right shoulder. This is a really great stretch, just warming up the spine, warming up the hips and the belly as well. Maybe take a mudra, connecting your first finger with your thumb and just hold and take a nice deep breath. Come back to center and we're gonna sit down back onto our hips. We're gonna take a similar stretch, now sat down. So we're gonna inhale and take our arms to the sky then on our exhale, we're gonna twist round over to the right, right hand comes behind you, left hand to the right knee, twisting round so that your gaze is behind. Twisting from the belly button just to activate the digestive system and give your spine a nice little warm up stretch. Hold for a deep breath through the nose and one big exhale, sigh it out. Come back to center, arms to the sky, and let's repeat that on the left side this time. Left hand behind you, looking over that left shoulder. Really stretch from the belly button, twist from the spine. Hold for a nice deep inhale, and a big exhale, sigh it out. On your next inhale, come back to center, arms to the sky. On your exhale, we're gonna fold down into our child's pose. Forehead comes down to the mat, reaching your fingertips along the mat, stretching out the spine. Keep those arms nice and long, or you can keep them slightly bent if you're more beginner. This is a really great stretch, really toxifying the upper body, especially those shoulder blades, allowing the shoulder blades to part. I want you to take a few deep inhales and exhales, Close the eyes and again, come back to that intention for the practice. What do you want to achieve? Do you want to feel more relaxed? Do you want to detoxify the spine? Do you want to stretch out the lower back after a day of sitting? Know what you want from this practice and then we can together find a way to get you to your goal. So just close your eyes and just breathe. Take a nice big inhale through the nose. And as we exhale, open our eyes and come up onto the fingertips. Bring your forehead up off the mat. And when you're ready on your next inhale, we're gonna draw the spine upwards, circling round into Cobra Pose. 
Then we're gonna push back, curve the spine down, drop the belly towards the mat and push back into our child's pose. Inhale, wave forward, arch the spine, chin into the chest. Exhale, come into cobra and then we're gonna push back, curve the spine down, back into a child's pose. Three more like this, inhale, wave forward, Exhale, push back from our cobra to our child's pose. Open up through the chest, open up through the collarbone as you come forward, crunch into the spine. Open through the chest, cobra, and then push back. Once more, inhale, wave forward, take this nice and slow. Really articulate through the spine. And we're just gonna wave back into our child's pose. Now we're gonna come forward again, wave forward slowly. Then we're gonna drop the hips all the way down into Cobra. Take your wrists so that they're slightly off center to the shoulders, feet and mat width apart. We're just gonna hold here for a moment. You can keep your gaze up or bow your head down slightly in humility, just to elongate through the neck, get a nice stretch in the upper body. Find a few deep breaths, just find that center. Find that stretch in the lower back and in the belly. Now just to find a bit of mobility in this pose, we're gonna take that wave-like motion that we did in our cat cow. We're just gonna wave down towards the mat, drawing the chest down as we do so. The last thing that should come down is the chin into the chest, crown of the head points forward. And then as we exhale, we're gonna lift up. Inhale, lower down, nice and slow. Work those triceps, forehead comes down to the mat. Exhale, lift up, open through the chest. Gaze is up to the sky, throw your head back as much as you can. This is a really great stretch for that lower back. So as you lift up, even try and lift your hips up off the mat just to get that stretch even deeper. Look up to the sky, open through the throat chakra, and then we're gonna round down again. Just a few more of these, really find that mobility in the spine, finding strength in the upper body too. I want you to make sure here that you're breathing with the motion. So as you lift up, you're exhaling through the chest. Let all that tension go. And as you inhale, you're going to come back down. The breathing is just as important as the yoga pose. So always remember to come back to that breath. Make it nice and slow, as slow as the posture. Now we're just going to hold here in our cobra for one more second, lift up through the chest, then walk your hands slightly closer together. We're going to settle down onto our forearms. Elbows are directly underneath the shoulders, elbows are in line with the wrists. Take your gaze ahead or slightly down, bowing your head and getting that nice deep stretch in the back of the neck. Just going to hold here for a moment, close your eyes, relax the lower back stretching out the chest and the upper body draw your shoulders away from the ears and draw them back slightly just to elongate through the chest and open up hold for another inhale and a deep exhale through the mouth we're next going to take a mobility exercise so draw your chest down slightly towards the mat chin to the mat bend the right leg point the toe we're going to tap the right leg over towards the left side come back to center and we're going to repeat with the left side this is a really great stretch for the lower back and the spine in general try and get your foot to meet that left side as you come onto the right then as you come back to center left foot connects with the right side of the mat coming on to your right side slightly just to enable that mobility. Just do this a few times at your own pace. If you want to go even deeper, it, as you come on to the side, you're going to look up over the shoulder just to get a little deep stretch in the upper body.
Now this time as we lift the right leg over towards the left side, we're gonna reach our right hand over towards the ankle and just stretch out that right side of the chest for a moment. Gaze is up to the side and then come back to center. We're gonna repeat that on the left leg. Left hand reaches for the ankle, gaze is up to the sky again. Hold for a deep breath and then we're gonna come back to center, wonderful. Make your way back into Sphinx Pose on your forearms and just hold for a deep breath. Then lower your chest to the mat. We're gonna reach our hands behind us, interlace the fingers as much as you can. Then we're just gonna lift the chest up off the mat. If you want to go even deeper, you can lift the legs up off the mat just to stretch out the lower body and give your glutes a little burn. But this is mainly a stretch for the front of the chest and the upper body stretching out the shoulder blades and the back as well. Keep your gaze ahead or slightly down. This is an amazing exercise for the back just to give you that little bit of strength. Hold for one more deep inhale and then as we exhale we're going to lower down. Lower down flat so that your forehead comes to the mat, arms down beside your body. Hold for a breath like this. Then we're going to bend both legs reach back for the ankles, flex the feet and draw the toes out slightly towards the side and then we're going to lift up into bow pose, lift the thighs up off the mat, lift the chest up off the mat, balancing on the pelvis and on the stomach, take your gaze down slightly or ahead, whatever feels best for you and really focus on that stretch in the chest. Hold for a few deep breaths, I know this one's quite challenging but again it's really good for that strength in the lower back which is what we all need from a day of sitting. Hold for one more deep inhale and exhale, sigh it out, you're almost done. And relax back down, draw the heels in towards the glute, forehead to the mat, hold for a breath here, then release the feet back down and make your way back into Sphinx on our forearms. We're just going to hold in Sphinx for a moment, relax the lower back, allow that tension to come out of the lower back and the spine. Then we're going to tuck the toes under. When you're ready, place your hands beside the chest, lower the chest all the way down. We're going to push up into upward facing dog, hips are off the mat, untuck the toes, hold for a deep breath here. And then slowly, with control, we're going to round up into downward facing dog, tailbone comes towards the sky, untuck the toes, feet are flat on the mat. If you want to find some extra mobility in the hamstrings, you can pedal your feet, lifting one heel up off the mat and then the other. This will really give you a nice little stretch in the back of the legs, but also enable you to go deeper with that chest drawing towards the mat. When you've found that mobility and your feet feel able to, Lift the heels down towards the mat, pressing down, tailbone towards the sky and allow the sacrum of the chest to come all the way down as much as you can. Abdomen presses towards the thighs. Hold for a deep breath in this downward facing dog. Then we're going to reach the left hand towards the right side of the right ankle, looking through that right side, almost taking your gaze up to the sky if you can. Like before with our twist, we're twisting from the abdomen, making sure that you're getting that nice deep stretch in the lower back and spine. Hold for one more deep breath. And then we're gonna bring that hand back to center and this time right hand comes towards the left ankle. Take your gaze over to the left side, even take it up towards the sky. Hold for a deep breath here, really breathing into that stretch in the abdomen and the spine. Bring your hand back to center and come back into our downward facing dog. We're gonna exhale, bend through the legs, and we're gonna hop to the top of our mat, landing in a seated posture. When you meet me here, we're gonna extend the left leg out in front of us, flex the foot, bend the right leg, bringing the foot in line with the left knee. Twist round so that the right hand comes behind you, left arm to the sky, inhale, then join the left elbow to meet the right knee. Fingertips pointing towards the sky, open the palm of the hand. 
Take your gaze over the right shoulder so that is behind you. Twist from the spine, keep your chest nice and open and really elongate through the spine, imagining that the crown of your head is being drawn up to the sky. If you'd like to advance here, you can bind to that right leg, take your right hand behind your back and reach for those left fingertips. Open through the chest and just close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths here, really adjusting to this posture and finding all the benefits as it detoxifies your digestive system and stretches out your back. If you joined me in the bind, bring your right hand back down behind you, left arm to the sky, and we're gonna untwist from this Lord of the Fish pose. Let's go straight on to the other side, bend that left leg, knee comes towards the sky, left hand behind you, right arm to the sky, inhale, and take that right elbow to join the left knee. Fingertips pointing towards the sky again, looking over that left shoulder as much as you can, twisting from the belly button. Make sure that you're evenly distributing your weight on both sit bones to make sure you're not leaning over to one side. If you'd like to go further, remember you can take that bind, thread the right arm through the leg, reach that left hand around the back to find the other hand. Keep your gaze behind you, lift up through the chest and feel that nice deep stretch. Come out of that bind and turn your head towards the center of your mat. Straighten out both legs and scoot down the mat slightly. Hug the knees in towards the chest and slowly with control, round down onto your back. Hug the knees into the chest again, lift through the head so that we're stretching the back of the neck. We're just gonna rock from side to side, massaging the spine and the lower back. This is really great for digestion and for finding relief in the lower back. Just hold for a few deep breaths as we rock from side to side. And then after taking one more deep inhale and exhale, we're gonna lower the head all the way down to the mat when you're ready. And we're just gonna release the feet down to the mat. Hold here for a breath in this Shavasana, relax the lower back, relax the spine. Then we're gonna bend the right leg in towards the chest, pull the knee in with your hands, and then allow the right knee to fall away to the left side. Take your gaze over towards the right side, right hand comes out behind you just for support. We're just gonna hold here, find that breath and close your eyes and immerse yourself in this deep spinal twist. Make your way back to center and hug that right knee back into the chest and then release it down. Hug the left knee in towards the chest this time, nose to knee, and then allow that left knee to come to the right side. Gaze is over to the left side. Twisting from the belly button again, close the eyes and immerse yourself in this amazing detoxifying posture.
Slowly make your way back to a neutral position, hug the knee into the chest and then extend it out and come into our Shavasana. Hold for a deep inhale and as we inhale we're going to reach our arms over our head, exhale, stretch out in that pencil pose. Hold for one more deep breath and then slowly with control we're going to make our way back to the center of our mat. Come into a seated easy pose or whatever feels good for you. We're just going to take a few final breaths to end the practice. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Close your eyes and I just want you to thank yourself for what you've done for yourself today. You've been an amazing companion in my yoga class and I'm so thankful for you being here. Your spine should be feeling nice and stretched, maybe a little bit sore from all those strengthening exercises. I just want you to say thank you to yourself and join me in saying Namaste as we bow down to our heart. Namaste everyone.